Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Place of Binding of Isaac Rebirth. We have just been steamrolling these Eden runs today. I'm very happy about this. Telepathy for dummies, but infestation 2, decent damage, 4 YGEDWWD. Interesting. Uh, telepathy for dummies, mostly pretty bad, but also we'll replace it with Satanic Bible here. Uh, and infestation 2, incredible. The only, well, not the only thing, like, our damage, or at least DPS, seems pretty terrible right now. And we're gonna probably take some damage on this room if I had to guess. But, um, if we can stack up a damage or a DPS upgrade on this floor, we will steamroll this game. Mark my words, barring, you know, unforeseen disasters, kind of like that one room from the, like, the, the literal one pip room from our last run. Uh, barring anything like that, we have a, a one run already uh, at our disposal. We will check out the curse room here. We have the bombs. That's real bad. We have the bombs necessary to open that, but I uh, tried to do it with the other bomb and it didn't work out perfectly, but even still, traded two spirit hearts basically for Cricket's head here, which is fine. Uh, actually, like, really, really worthwhile. Crawl space? No crawl space. Um, We'll now be, like, two-shotting these enemies. Big enemies. Uh, small enemies will be one-shotting, and that's gonna really allow us to gain some spider momentum here. I mean, as you can see, that Cricket's Head pickup pretty much just changed the game for us here. Uh, two hits? Two hits, yeah. We're gonna be able to kind of ball out of control really quickly. I would, even more so than our last run, once we got Mom's Knife, I was a little scared because of Curse of the Unknown, you know, on that, on that last run. On this run, I don't think anything can stop us already. I think we've already, basically, we've just gotten so lucky with not only the Infestation 2 pickup at the start, followed by, of course, the, uh, the obvious, uh, the, the, the Satanic Bible pickup, followed, of course, uh, I guess we'll just stay back here for a second, by the obvious, uh, Cricket's Head pickup. It's, it's just been amazing. So I figured, yeah, let's, let's go nuts and we'll use all of our bombs to open that stuff up because we have the opportunity to with our golden key and we got Able and a little bit of money out of it. Was it worth the bombs that we spent? Honestly, I'd say probably not, but... You gotta, you gotta take a crack at it. And we picked up the Halo as well, and if it wasn't sorted before, it's probably sorted now. We Really, the only unknown left is how our deal with the Devil looks, but this is a, just a fantastically overpowered Eden start super early here. Now remember, the, the, the kicker with Infestation 2 is that you only spawn a spider... Hmm, interesting. You only spawn a spider from an enemy if you kill them with your tears. Using a spider doesn't count. So we do have to be a little bit smarter about not letting our spiders kill other enemies except for enemies that are going to be tough to kill ourselves. Or, you know, in unavoidable situations, of course. Because we do want to amass, like, a spider army. That's part of the draw here. The spiders are good by themselves, but they really become uh, very advantageous en masse, basically. Whoa, whoa, okay. A little close. Need some bombs, need some keys. I mean, it's pretty much exclusively our fault we have neither. Well, maybe not neither. It's exclusively our fault we have no bombs, considering I spent them all on the last floor, but, uh... The key situation is a little bit more up in the air. We'll see what's in our item room here. If this is more damage or tears or DPS in any form, then, you know, cancel Christmas. For the, for the game, not for me. Christmas is still very much on for me. Um... Charm tears? It's okay. Certainly not bad. And honestly, I'm not that pissed about fighting Super Envy here. I have no interest at all in Ship to Whoop, but uh, our damage is such that Super Envy is just a... It's a bother, basically. It's not really a, an enormous problem one way or the other. Are we making spiders? Yeah, we're making spiders. Okay, I, I would exhaust my whole spider army to finish this room off a little faster if they would oblige me. And ideally, we wouldn't take any more damage here, but it's okay. Come on. Don't let the spiders take him out. Don't let the spiders go down on me. Got a live bomb I can't do anything with. We got four, yeah, four spiders that we're rocking here. Decent army. Now if we can just get piercing shots, oh my. It gets even better. That's uh, our shop, almost certainly. And you know what? I think that we will buy a PhD. And a tears upgrade is really worthwhile. We've had a lot of good... Uh, PhD pickups lately, and that nah, we made it. <laughs> that one is uh, indicative of them. You know, that it's representative of them. Let's put it that way. It's not necessarily indicative of them. But a tears up upgrade combined with Cricket's Head now means we're killing enemies much more easily than we were before. Just a random dime drop, no big deal. Dime, dime, dime. Anyway, 
Yes, that was a an attempted damn drops reference. Dame drops reference? I don't know. The only source on YouTube I trust for reviews of novelty items at fast food restaurants. One more hit. Okay. Good deal with the devil item. Let's make this a special one. Speed plus range is helpful. I could use some more speed and ceremonial ropes. Really nice pickup for us, actually. Yeah, we are a, a one-man wrecking crew. One man, but also several spiders. Behind every great man, you will likely find a team of several eight-legged friends. May or may not be true. Still uh, two-shotting enemies, but honestly, that's as, as good as we could reasonably expect to be at this point of the game, barring, you know, one of the all-time greats as far as items go. We will try to get all the money here. Ah, I had a feeling I might fuck it up at the end. Was it worth taking a black heart of damage for three cents? Probably not, no. Uh, but, hey, you know, the more we do that, the more practice we get. And it's not like we're really hurting for HP now anyway. Nor are we hurting for time. We are like two minutes ahead of uh, schedule when it comes to boss rush. Which has been kind of a an easy element to, to get on every single one of these recent Eden runs. Or almost every single one of these e recent Eden runs. Just a... Really, really easy time getting the boss rush. Mostly because we just seem to get carried like crazy, and the uh, per throw drop is acceptable. Try to use that. Uh, I guess we'll just use it at whatever our earliest available opportunity is. If we have a really bad item room, and it's not a passive, we'll use it. If it is a passive, we might take it and try to save our reroll for maybe a deal with the devil or something like that down the line, but we'll see. No need to get too deep into the theory crafting right now. You know, we're building the Magic the Gathering deck. We haven't even uh, cracked open a starter or anything like that yet. Not that I would know that from experience. Haha, <laughs> seriously, it's uh, an expensive hobby I'm coming to learn. All right. Judas's Tongue? I mean, without any other trinkets, you might as well take advantage of it. Lard is good enough to take, especially because we've had that speed upgrade. I'll take Mom's Purse on the cheap. I think that's... A fantastic pickup for us. We don't need to per-throw anything in there. And we will open this. Hopefully there's a key inside. There is a key inside. We could get the stopwatch, but that is something I'm not particularly interested in. Just a little too easy if we took the stopwatch on this run. Now, Brimstone or Mom's Knife, those are cheesy but fun. Stopwatch is just a little bit cheesy. Oh, bad damage on my part, but... You know, if he hits me again, he's pretty much dead, so... It's a team effort. These guys don't have selfish genes. Go fuck yourself, Richard Dawkins. These guys are, they're acting in the interest of the collective. That was not a, a Richard Dawkins dig in reference to, uh, you know, his secularism. That was a, a dig in reference to his previous career as an evolutionary biologist, which honestly is very incredibly well respected. You know, he wrote The Selfish Gene, which is a, an influential book in the field of evolutionary psychology. And evolutionary biology, for that matter. Not that that distinction matters too much, considering I'm just making a video on YouTube right now. But, uh... Yes. The end. Let's move it along. I know Richard Dawkins' loaded word. It's not really a word. It's a loaded series of words. Some people might even call it a name. That's that's up to you, I suppose. Ooh, okay. Uh, I think we'll take Contract from below and reroll the other two. We got Judas' shadow out of it. Might as well take the shovel, see what we get. Not a crawl space. Take Judas' shadow, and then we'll find a way to uh, to end our own life. And this seems like a decent opportunity. We'll at least let this take us almost all the way down. We got a really badass looking, like kind of simple, but otherwise badass looking uh, combination of stuff here. So we're going to get hurt once on the way out. And then, I know that there were people worried that I was probably going to end up getting myself killed there. And we'll check this out. Okay, don't pick up the spirit hearts. Let this guy murder me. But open the other chest first so that you don't have to fight these enemies. Perfect. We're done. We respawn as Dark Judas. We pick up three spirit hearts. And all of a sudden, our HP problems are completely taken care of. Beautiful. You know what? We might as well take uh, Kane's eye and Judas's tongue here. We could take Mom's pearl, I suppose. So I did this all, even though it's risky. I mean, you know why I do this. With Judas' Shadow, it's not even about the absurdity. It's just about the fact that the item is really, really good. Uh, and now, we kind of get an added impetus to do it because we have uh, Infestation 2. So the faster we can kill enemies, the, fa the better it is for us, without a doubt. Uh, we create more spiders faster, which allows us to get more momentum in the fight, which pretty much takes the enemies past the tipping point. 
even more quickly. So I don't think there's anything else we want here. The Hermit is actually really good for us, though, because I don't have any keys. So we'll Hermit, buy a key, buy a Humbling Bundle as well. We just got a contract from below on this floor, too. And then go into our item room, and our item room contains Mulligan! And all of a sudden, the true value of these decisions that we've made is coming true here. This is... This is pretty incredible. Now, we don't have any regular HP, so Judas's tongue is pretty terrible right now. But apart from that, uh, this, is, uh, this is an unbelievable run. Made believable only by the fact that we've had so many unbelievable runs in a row now that uh, this just seems commonplace for whatever reason. I'm not going to bother taking the matchstick. Kind of like the idea of having Kane's eye. Um, and Judas's tongue has like a greater upside. I would say it's probably not the smart play. It's like going for it's it's like not punting on fourth down when you when you're not in a desperate situation. But you know why not? This at this point we have uh, not very much to lose except for like half of our spiders when that enemy crashes headfirst into them, which was very annoying. Uh, that's all right. Yeah, I was hoping for some cards there, but when am I not? Where are my spiders? I guess the spiders are just, uh... They're killing the enemies, like the ooze as it comes out, which is making it so I can't summon any. Kind of a weird artifact there, but that's okay. And that's gonna be five extra bombs. Bob's curse, as far as items go, is just okay, but... Happy to happy to have five extra bombs for now. And I, I'm kind of breathless on this run, but... I don't want to be like that song by the Coors Light. All we need to do... Slow down just a little bit. We're at ten minutes on depths one. Like we're so far ahead of any conceivable measure of schedule that just just cool it a little bit and we're fine. Just slow it down. We don't want to lose HP. We don't have to lose. We did get another deal with the devil and it contains Krampus. This is a perfect time for a Krampus fight especially if we get Lump of Coal which we did. It's been a really good day for Lump of Coal actually. Lots of those instead of Krampus's head. And uh, the four extra keys, nothing to sneeze at either, actually gives us the ability to do stuff on this floor. Alrighty. Now, probably, like, we're going to eat that penalty for for having uh, gotten a deal with the devil. That's just par for the course, though. Still hoping for guppy stuff. Man. Contract from below, humbling bundle. Nice interactions, doubling our chests and then doubling the contents inside of those chests as well. Or whenever they can be doubled, at least. Lots of spiders. Pin is a really good, like, spider generator. We have, like, 30 now. Okay. Should pay for itself. Did. And more so than did. Okay. So this is our last room that we really have to go into over here. Hoping for some kind of mapping. Maybe a greed fight. Not a greed fight. Fanny pack, I don't think is that worthwhile. So what I'm actually going to do is, we'll blow this up, but... That did not work out. Uh, I'm hoping that maybe we'll just donate here. Didn't mean to buy that key, but I guess there's worse things to buy, given our, our history here recently. And we'll donate as much money as we can, because we don't really care about an arcade showing up later. I'm already doing my post-Isaac stretch. Like, that's how strong this run is right now. Well, it ran out right as we ran out. That's perfect timing. Um, okay. And this is a, a really powerful run for not having one of the classic, you know, go-to high damage items. Brimstone Mom's Knife. Death's Touch, etc., etc. Uh, obviously, we do have Judas' Shadow, so it's a little bit dishonest to, to act like we're, we've are we cobbled this run together out of nothing. I'm just saying. Okay, that should get four if we can get four. Wow, that is, like, just terrible luck. We got two cards there, though. The World, Justice. We'll use Justice, take the World. Very sensible. And, uh, this will allow us to... At least figure out where we're going on the next floor. The question is, will we get a teleportation card so we can actually not have to do boss rush? Maybe we want to do boss rush, though. Arcade. Boss trap room. Gotta do the boss trap room. Could be some guppy items. There will not be. In all likelihood. Alright. Big room. Big room full of pins. This is actually perfect for us. Uh, whatever spiders we lose, we're going to generate almost certainly more of them. Oh. Yeah, that was actually awesome hopefully we get another room like that this is oh it's not the same room this is the bicycle helmet room these guys are not making it through the spider matrix here i'll tell you that much now we did get a little money down here it got split up a little that's okay we got enough keys yes we do 
Should pay attention for rooms that uh, have a decent amount of skulls in them. Lots of those. Uh, if we actually are able to teleport out, we take the Polaroid. And then that allows us to maybe have a good chance to play Demon Judgment and get something of value out of it. Oh, that was well worth it. Charm of the Vampire is just a, a pretty terrible item for us at our at the current stage in our run, but I'll live with it either way. And here, more mapping would be great, but uh, we, we can't really rely on it. I'd like to buy a bomb. There's no bomb for sale. Let me do Oh, there is a bomb for sale. I don't know why my brain is broken sometimes. Uh, we don't need Blue Candle. And let's just use our bomb right here. No card. All right. Well, I think that that means that, you know, it's a sign that we'll be moving on a little bit here. Sorry, Demon Judgment. Probably not going to have too much of a chance to play you. Expecting Mom to die pretty quickly. Boss Rush. If I get the chance, like, if the items in it are good enough, I will do it. And we've reached the point where even for me, I'm, like, a little self-conscious about how much I've done Boss Rush lately. But look at our damage. Like, it's not like I'm, I'm speeding through this run at my own expense. This is just, like, really, really strong. I'm going to... I'm gonna totally be a coward here. Tech point five might be worth it, but I don't think it's worth the damage that I would almost certainly take there. You know, we're not gonna be able to generate too many spiders based on the fact that we're fighting bosses. You know, obviously Pin would give us a lot and you know, maybe Larry Jr. would give us a ton. But apart from that, we're pretty much, on, oh my God, we're pretty much on our own. This is actually a fairly difficult room. Are you seeing the amount of nonsense involved here we're done okay i'll take a ringworm i don't really want judas's uh judas's tongue anymore it hasn't done anything for us i'll take ringworm just because it's silly that'll be my compensation for having not taken uh any items on the boss rush i really thought the boss rush would would liquidate our hp more quickly than i was comfortable with it looks like you know kane's eye has worked out for us here we're choosing probably the right situations that's fine as long as it clears out the room i don't really care Got some lifesteal there, too. That's a big one. Uh, hopefully we get a deal with the devil. We didn't get one on the on the depths, too. I don't want to say we deserved one, but we didn't take red hard damage, so I'm feeling a little, a little salty about it. Let's just go fight Mama Gertie here. And Mama Gertie is deceased as soon as those spiders figure out where she is. No deal with the devil. Torn photo, though. That's pretty good. Okay, come on, Kane's eye. Work for us just the way you did right there. Uh, you did not. Okay. I'm thinking, usually all roads to the boss lead through the big room. Man, with such a high shot speed, uh, it really feels like Ringworm is actually god-awful. Like, the, the amount of space that it covers in that first curve, it's like, you know, 25% of the screen or something like that. It's a lot. Makes it hard to aim. All your shots end up hitting walls, but that's that's half the fun here. Well, those are not guppy items. Oh, yeah. Ringworm, Pulseworm. No doubt. I don't care about mapping anymore. This is going to look terrible. Oh, and a Tears upgrade along with it. Sign me up. This is going to look terrible, but be pretty terrible. <laughs> but not as terrible as it looks, I guess. A little bit of a backhanded compliment, I guess, to our combination right now. But that's okay. You know what would be cool is if Mom's Purse was actually stackable. I know it makes, like, basically no sense. But a stackable Mom's Purse so you could actually have, like, four trinkets and then eight trinkets would be really cool. I'm not too worried about the Guppy Dream here. Not gonna take left hand. We've already got the two best trinkets in the game, obviously, so why, why mess with it? We're making amazing time. We're only 16 minutes in on It Lives without Brimstone or Mom's Knife. I mean, yes, Judas the Shadow has helped out a ton here. And Infestation 2. I, I mean, I'm I, I'm amazed. It feels like we should be a lot earlier into this run than we actually are. Uh, I mean, Book of Secrets could save us a little bit of time, actually. It might not be the worst idea. But I'm just going to ignore it. Because that's the, that's the Northern Line way. We've already figured out what direction we should not go in. What directions we should not go in, I suppose. Don't really care about that. Might be a tears upgrade. Not not overly concerned about it because this is a, a run that is 100% won regardless. Extra keys we should go back for. Emperor card. Emperor card. Emperor justice card. Justice card is also okay. 
I'll get the keys, even though we don't have Guppy's tail. You never know if they're going to come back to bite you in the ass someday. If we had 60 keys, I wouldn't care, but for now, we might as well go for it. That was an awful lot of money right there. Yet another dead end. At least we're hitting dead ends quickly, you know. It's eliminating uh, areas for us pretty easily. Can't use red hearts. Hopefully, you never get the opportunity to use red hearts. Don't need the money. Enemies dying so quickly. Don't need the HP. Maybe I will finally use Satanic Bible. Don't need the bombs. Pretty much don't need anything at all. We could. What do I need? I mean, mapping or teleportation to the boss fight is pretty much the number one thing that comes to mind. We can get to work on like win number 12 or 13 or whatever that one will be. Because this one is pretty much in the books already. And I really have to say just thank you to Infestation 2. Like, not the best start of all time. But Infestation 2 pretty quickly blossomed into one of the best starts of all time. Once we picked up that Cricket's Head. Uh, and so thank you to Cricket's Head, I guess, as well. I guess I'll thank the item that wins me the game. Don't ever let me tell you. Or no, don't ever say I'm not generous. It's good stuff. Alright. want to stay pretty far back because we do have Lump of Coal. Got to make sure the shots actually land, though. This is perfect for us right here. Yeah, one more wave and he'll be done. It's actually possible we could run a sub-20 run here, and I'm not even really rushing it. It feels a little bit surreal, honestly. A sub-20 in this situation would be very surprising, for me at least. Well, that's, like, very poor. Uh, but we can take this as long as we don't pick up red hearts. It won't compromise our invincibility and will give us a little extra damage. And even if we compromise our invincibility, that means not that much, I think. It's really like you want to watch out for Fat Odd Mushroom if you have Whore of Babylon. But uh, invincibility is nice. It's probably just not going to factor into things too much here. Come on, good luck. Uh, not good enough. Another room with uh, relatively tanky enemies. And of course, this is where, for the most part, we'd expect our spider game to kind of cool off a little bit here. Because we're not going to be fighting as many small enemies. Lots of, of big enemies that will drop one spider. That doesn't really help us as much. But uh, rooms like this with multi-segmented enemies are going to be excellent. Yeah, we got like six or seven spiders maybe per chub or something. That's pretty solid. As long as we can keep them from dying until we get the rooms where we need them. Which is easier said than done. Virgo Infestation. I don't know why that sounds like a disco song, but it's uh, it's decent. Ah, lifesteal! I totally forgot about you. That's gonna fuck up our invincibility for sure. Uh, so we got Big Fan and Bobby Bob Bomb. It's okay. Double Dark One is not bad. If they run into a spider, they are probably 100% dead. Might as well use this once. Yeah, we're pretty much like unassailable right now. We are going to win this run. It's just a matter of... Uh, how quickly we find the boss room. It's not going to be sub-20. It'll be like sub-23. Still a very, very good time. Especially for an Eden start where you don't know what items you're going to get. And just so much HP as well. Like, the game has given us so many opportunities to to fail and survive. Like, really, there's a hundred safety nets here for us. Uh, unlike last run where things got a little touchy because I re-rolled out of my super high damage run. Magician is pretty solid. I'd rather kill... Uh, I would have rather done this room in, like, exactly the opposite order that we did, but whatever. Magician card should be pretty good. Mitigate the, the risk of having Ringworm. We have Maggie's Bow? When did we get Maggie's Bow? Is that Maggie's Bow? Am I losing my mind here? I don't remember picking that item up. Is it Super Bandage? It doesn't matter, I suppose. I thought Super Bandage just gave you, like, the little bow. Beside you and the bandage on your face. What? It, we got Lord of the Flies as well. I don't. I don't remember picking this up. Is this? Am I? Is it surreal because I actually am having like a miniature stroke or something here? Is this some contact shit? They should have sent a poet. I guess Big Fan would have been the item that took us to the next level there. And we got the Mulligan. Does the Mulligan count as a Lord of the Flies trigger? I guess it must. And the Pretty Flies, I suppose, might as well. They might count as one. I don't know, man. Okay, let's... We gotta finish this off, because I'm losing my mind here. Okay, uh, luckily we do have homing bombs, so they are, even when they miss, they're getting in there. 
and I don't really care about taking damage in the process here. We are not going to die. The only thing that annoys me is that it's kind of slowing it down a little bit. And our flies will finish the job really fast around there. 2148 in game. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.